What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keepstar. Let's get right into the news. Our first story is on that security footage of Poopy Pants Chance. It's fake. Oh, the, the guy never sent us the footage, and he kept delaying it. He was saying, I'm away on vacation. My wife's going to send it. Oh, maybe my brother could send it in. Now, we have confirmed contacts with Jake Paul's actual neighbors, and we reached out to them, and they were like, this is bullshit. We know all the neighbors. None of this is real. So we started trying to figure out where this IP address from this guy that was telling us that he had the footage was from, and we found out that that he was from Jake Paul's area. So is it real? We noticed every time this person said neighbor, they spelt it the British way. And with an IP address that's so close to actual Jake Paul's house, I'm pretty sure Mr. England is their fucking city is trying to fuck with us. I know you're sad you want that footage. I'm sad too. But listen, we got a lot more news for you. Let's get right into it. Yesterday, we reported on a story by a girl known as Clarissa May, who uploaded a video talking about her being raped, her friend being raped, her being sexually assaulted, and she kept saying in the video that these were massive YouTubers, massive social media stars, and in the tags of her video, she had Jake Paul and Cameron Dallas. But then she came out later saying that it wasn't Cameron Dallas and it wasn't Jake Paul that raped her and her friend. So, we're trying to figure out why the fuck she put their names in the tags. Last night, she did an interview with a YouTuber known as Gay Flannel Shirt Guy 69, and this is what she admitted. Through and what I usually do with my videos is um, I go through and I add in the tags that are relevant to the video, and then I'll like re add in the tags that I had before to try to get the video boosted in views. What the actual fuck? She literally admitted to putting Jake Paul in the tags of her rape story so it would get more views. The tags that I had before to try to get the video boosted in views. What the fuck is YouTube 2017? Like, I just, I can't fathom this. For any of you that are still confused, this is basically what she did. Roll it. So I'm uploading a video about the story where my whole family actually died. All right. Um, and I just, I need some good tags. Let's see. Family, my family, my family dies, my fam. Oh, I know. Perfect. <laughs> I can't. Also in the news, Poopy Pants Chance tweeted out something interesting last night. He tweeted out, Yo, Jake Paul, stop making diss tracks, you trash, laughing my ass off, my boy Rice Gum, stay spitting flames. Now that's weird. Why would Team 10 member Chance be talking shit to Jake Paul and defending Rice Gum? Because he got hacked. Two hackers by the name of Fraza and Cal hacked Chance on Snapchat. They hacked him on Twitter. Oh, it was bad. They went as far as releasing snap pictures of Chance where he was supposedly cheating on Tessa. But not only that, Chance smokes weed. How could you, Chance? How could you do drugs? You're a role model to preschools around the whole country. I'm so sad. But not only that, the hackers released a dick pic which they claim belonged to Chance. Chance responded on Instagram by saying this. Roll it. Done did it. <laughs> I done uh, did it now, boys. You done did it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know you made it when you get yeah, hacked. That's how you know. Fact bro. of life, bro. Bro, the only thing I care about, that's not my dick. Ah! <laughs> that shit's so curved and veiny. Get the fuck out of here. Now we reached out to the hackers to find out why they actually hacked Chance and this is what they said. He tried to act hard to rice gum when he's soft like feathers laughing out loud. He made a video with three of his friends while rice was with females and he used it to seem like the tough one. He got what he deserved. Fuck chance, fuck team 10. And that's when rice gum tweeted out this. I have nothing to do with these team 10 guys getting hacked, but just know I got shooters in real life and the internet. <laughs> he ended up deleting that tweet but then Tessa Brooks got hacked too. All of a sudden a tweet went out saying, I'm jealous of Elisa Violet. And then she tweeted, it's okay, Chance cheated on me. I cheated on him first. Ah, well, at least the hacker has a sense of humor. But Tessa got hacked really bad because not just her Twitter got hacked, 
her fucking YouTube got hacked. Random enemy videos have been uploaded to her channel, and so far today, she has lost over 35,000 subscribers because of the hacker. Now, this isn't the same hacker that hacked Chance. This is a different hacker. We reached out to him and said, why did you hack Tessa? Snail responded by saying, because bored and shit, plus she's rude to Alyssa Violet, her and Banks are cool. Snail don't like rude. And that's when Banks tweeted out this. Just to be clear, we obviously had nothing to do with anyone getting hacked. That shit's whack. A lot of time and hard work goes into this shit. And there you have it. Also in the news. Today, Adam Sala uploaded a video titled, Road to Shaw is the fakest YouTuber I've ever met. Now in the video, Adam Sala says he was at some YouTuber party and KSI was there and the Sidemen were there. And apparently, Harry, Road to Shaw, ran up to him and took a picture and tweeted out, fuck Delta. <laughs> So obviously they're triggered. For those of you that don't know the backstory, Adam Sala, like, uh, I think this was like a year ago. He was on a Delta flight. Him and his friend uh, Slim Shady or whatever the fuck his name is were on the flight and they were joking around saying some meme back and forth and screaming it on the plane in a different language. So then other passengers complained about it and they got escorted off the plane. And then Adam Sala lied to everyone and made a video saying that he was getting kicked off the plane just because he was speaking Arabic, which was proven not to be true. So this is why Road to Shaw was fucking with him. Also in the news, yesterday we told you about Net Nobody or Sky Does Minecraft getting in a fight with KSI and them threatening to make diss tracks on each other, which is completely out of left field. Well, last night, KSI released DMs between him and that nobody. He tweeted out, are you dense fam? Get the fuck out of my DMs. Apparently, Sky does Minecraft landed in LA and he asked KSI if he knew where to get weed. <laughs> what the fuck? And speaking about KSI, apparently he's getting deported. He uploaded a video titled, I'm getting deported, explaining that, you know, he has to go back to the UK. But he does say in this video, he's actually planning on getting a visa and moving to America. Banks tweeted at him saying, I miss you already, JJ. KSI responded by saying, I miss you too, bro. Also in the news. Do you like that transition? I thought it was fucking smooth. I mean, that just, it just really went. The Huffington Post tweeted out, the man who marched in Charlottesville, white supremacy rally disowned by family, showing a picture of the man. <laughs> do, you, do you know who that looks like? You, you must know who that looks like. It looks exactly like fucking beauty. PewDiePie. PewDiePie responded to this tweet by saying this. Dear Nazis, stop looking so identical to me. You are really not helping my case here. <laughs> and now for our final story. Collar stays popping. England is my city. Nick Crumpton tweeted out this. Team 10 can perform its everyday bro at the opening ceremony, showing a picture that Los Angeles has confirmed to host the 2028 Olympics. Now, I want to report this story because most of the Team 10 fans, you know, they haven't went through school, they haven't learned math yet, so I want to do some math for them just so they could understand, all right? This will be going down when you are 17 years old, all right? So on your 17th birthday, make sure you ask mom and dad for a ticket to the Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today. If you love Drum Alert, make sure you slap a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any drama going on in the community. And if you're subbing, sub with those notifications on. Drum Alert Nation now over 2,500,000 subscribers.